Hi, my name is Peggy. I've always been curious about how women from different parts of the world live, and I've decided to embark on a journey myself to experience living the life of a nomadic woman in Mongolia and seeing life through her lens. I've also come to realize that Mongolian women are one of the strongest women out there, balancing so many different things perfectly. Now her, she just asked me to try. <laughs> for my six day stay, I've seen and experienced so many things for the first time in my life. It's the same size as my face. This is such an experience like you and I have got to see that. <laughs> so yesterday I got bitten by the dog. And this film is about my journey of learning with Onuru, the beautiful nomadic woman of Mongolia. Alright, so getting all my fresh vegetables from Bara. Because he mentioned the nomadic family is mainly meat. So right now we are leaving uh, Ulaanbaatar, heading to the town or village of the nomadic family. So currently we're still on the way to the nomadic family. It's about 170 km from the city of Ulaanbaatar. And then we're gradually not seeing any more civilization like the small towns and small houses just in the vast landscape of mountains and animals so um, feeling a little bit more excited okay it seems like we have rich and it like it's a house i thought i would be expecting a girl a year so it's pretty interesting so after traveling for about three hours, we have finally reached a nomadic family. The Mongolians are well known for their warm hospitality. They always offer a bowl of milk when a guest has arrived. This is my first time I'm trying this cold horse milk. Mm, it's pretty interesting and it tastes pretty sour. She immediately went to the kitchen to whip up some warm dumplings for us. It was um, really nice, even though there was like a language barrier. I still manage to like you know form a connection with them because they have such a adorable granddaughter you know we just kept dancing together and there was lots of laughs and giggles I'm going towards the toilet they have animals so you can see just behind me there's a shed but animals are not there so I'm not sure where they are so I actually found out from my Mongolian colleague that we are heading from the winter home to the spring girl tomorrow <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. I spent the rest of the evening with my new family, seeing them play with their granddaughter. And it is just so heartwarming to watch. It's day two and I'm pretty excited because I didn't know I would be able to witness the move from the winter home to the spring girl with the nomadic family. Good morning guys. So it's day two of my stay with the beautiful nomadic family. Apparently the animals have, uh, have moved towards that area, you know, for spring, if I'm not wrong. So this is where they were at originally, so they have currently moved early. Mongolians have a tradition of maintaining the yard's natural environment. They feel that by cleaning up the environment, they're showing their love and concern for it. This is my first time seeing how hard a worker a Nuru is. Nothing is too dirty or too tiring for her. Today is moving day! 
So we're gonna move. Well, that doesn't look such. Nick got the rotan so she spent bender to go. No claim that she will kill the good car. Matter and picture of sick dogs and no shirt, no jock shirt. There is on the mixture with no other such. Get or not, eh? Book him from Nayach and Hurto to such a time who matches the stick of the old in there. Besides these animal bones, what you're about to see in the blue container is not something you would normally expect. Ship, ship, ship head. head. <laughs> she got a little bit cheeky and decides to scare me with it. <laughs> Oh, strong. <laughs> All resources here are very precious, down to the very last drop of the water. Ben, 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 Yasa. I wasn't expecting to see a bed getting stacked on top of a truck that's already filled with so many things. They've probably done this so many times that they know exactly the order of putting the things and how to make them all fit perfectly. Now, they are moving on to the electronics. When I was moving here, honestly, I wasn't expecting the satellite TV to be one of the things I would actually see here. As they are moving and not going to be back here in this winter home for a long period of time, they are using these sheets of meta to cover up the windows. After everything that they need have been placed in the truck, I was amazed by the method of how they're holding everything down. It's the reliable knot tying method. Off we go, migrating to our new home in spring. Home, and we are heading towards the car 
I think that signifies springtime and the Normans are on the move. So we got a lot of luggage behind us. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my favorite lady. And look at her, she is multitasking at its finest. This is such an experience, like you wouldn't ever get to see that. Something that really touched my heart and almost made me tear is how Onuru is singing this lullaby so endearingly to her granddaughter for her to fall asleep while she drives. Wow, it's a lot of them. Go there. We just reached the girl. It's pretty empty. <laughs> this is the smaller girl, where they put all the other stuff like the animal feed in. Back in the main gur, she starts to put the cloth, which is the inner layer of the gur, in. I went to give her a hand as it was honestly quite satisfying to straighten out the cloth. It didn't take us long as her hands were working really fast. Even the men are helping out with the treading part. <laughs> Next, it was putting on the ground layer. Don't think that it might sound easy. You actually need teamwork to feed it nicely, as you will need to lift up the post to feed it underneath. After the ground layer was sorted, it's time to move all the furniture from the winter home in from the truck. Onudo takes the lead in organizing where to place the furniture, and even to the small details, such as the alignment of the furniture to the girl. <laughs> One of the last steps is putting the chimney stove in. The chimney carries the smoke from the wood and dried down burning stove. The girl's most sacred space is to the north. This is where an altar would be placed. On the exterior of the girl, there's weights holding it down. Spring winds can regularly blow up to 9 km per hour, so this is definitely a good solution. The neighbor staying near Onuro has dropped by for a visit. They arrive in style on their horses. 
I just love the spirit here in Mongolia because everybody comes by to help, or even just to say hi. <laughs> Why I think that she's a wonder woman is because after doing all the hard work moving the whole morning, Onuro easily eases into starting the fire and starts cooking the yummy dumplings for her guests. Everything today was unfolding perfectly until something happened in the night. I came up from my girl to go to the toilet and something unexpected happened. Yesterday while going to the toilet, I got attacked by the dog behind. Um, it bite my right arm. Thank God, like this jacket covered it, covered it. So it was just like bruises. So yeah, it was my first time being bitten by a wild dog. I mean, by a nomadic dog in real life. So yeah, that's quite an experience. Yeah, thank God, like it's not bitten in. So yeah, all good. And she came to save me. She came to save me. I was like shouting. Uh, so yesterday I got bitten by a dog. And then they managed to build a toilet today. Wow. They literally just built this toilet. I was super impressed that they built this in the morning before I even woke up. So it's really new. I think no one used it yet. Oh my god. So here comes the first thing I can help with on day three. Let's find out what it is. Good morning. Cow. 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 Ah, cow. Okay. Horse. Horse. Ah. Cow. Cow. Horse. <laughs> again, again. Can you say again? <laughs> it's not every day I get the opportunity to find out how the different shape between the horse and cow dung. <laughs> I wanted to say that I'm liking this outdoors manual work in the morning because it's such a good exercise. And it's honestly so satisfying to clean up the whole paddock as well. Right now we are bringing the poops somewhere. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Muscle! Strong! It's just like so strong. So like... I pushed this whole thing as full just now there. It was like actually heavy and she did it so easily. You're shit then! Okay, so I just communicated with her. This one is. Black? No, white? Yes! <laughs> white! <laughs> so we use the white ones for fire. Black ones. It's not needed for fire. It's the same size as my face. Switch roll. Da. <laughs> After the morning workout, Onuro's cousin came to visit her. She's a police working in the Loon Village. I also found out this is what they use to check on their livestock in the distance. Cow? Goat? Sheep? Uh, horse. Horse meat. Yeah, oh. Horse meat. Okay. Now it's lunchtime, fun time. Time to see how she preps for a new Mongolian dish that I've never seen before. And which parts are this? <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
Patrayana. Karena kalau aku masih. 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 Karena She gives me a lot of food. So this is a uh, flour, and then you dip the meat into the garlic sauce, I think. And you eat it. Some pickles. And then you cut your own meat. How to cut? Like this? Ah. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Like this? 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 Ah, okay, okay. Like Okay, Mong Mong Mongolian. Ah, Mongolian. Bayat na. After our lunch, Onudo has a new mission. Right now, um, she's riding towards the. And the goats to her animals and her horse. Just so cool, man. She just got it. Um, the horse galloped, but the horse didn't gallop for me probably because I'm like new. So you can see at the back. She's at the back. As she got nearer to the paddock, she called out for me to give the horse back riding a go. Not on four. Huh? Me? I'm no good. Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my home, Mongo. Uh -huh. <laughs> After a good fun riding session, it's time to get some real work done. The men are building a shelter for the animals in the paddock. And here comes our noodle, flattening the matter sheets. <laughs> Here in Mongolia, there's no work that's too hard for the woman. They get the job done and they do it beautifully. <laughs> Trying to get a great video shot of the animals at the back. So yeah, you can see. Just getting some shot in.
дуур болохоор ингэдэг байхгүй хавар чин байгаа мал нөгөө бид нар чи малаал дагаж болохоор малынхаа онцлогоос болдог байхгүй бүх мал хээлтэй тийм болохоор зэрэг өндөр өндөрлөг газар явж чадахгүй нам дор газар байх хэвээр бэлчээр нь ойрхон ус нь ойрхон тэгээд өөрсөнд нь тэр багтай тийм газар гэж сонгодог байхгүй хавар та the cattle here knows how to come home themselves i keep you not they are actually queuing patiently in fact the person who looks after the animals is accustomed to the fact that they should return home at sunset in the evening since they were little and the animals get accustomed to that as well however it also depends on the species of animal the herdsman is herding This cow has been waiting patiently for a special treat. And the patience actually did pay off. Onuro gets ready for the animals to come back in to the paddock. In just 30 minutes, it got dark so quickly. <laughs> За манай нүрлч юм хэвчих үү гэх юм бол одоо энэ олон жилээс өв уламжлалт ирчихсэн манай сайхан соёл энэ дээр бол бид нар дуртай байдаг тийм хэцүү асуудал бол биш тэр чи өдөр болох нь үгээд дэдгүү биш болохоор за жилийн дөрөв улирлал нь үүж байгаа хавар намар өвөл зун гээд дөрөв улирлал нь айхаа бэлчээр ус муута байх юм бол олон нүнэлтэй baby sheep excuse me big tummy after the animals are back in the paddock she is still a busy lady but today i'm going to help her out hen chama ging kisi be mun osan batsan mene what happened ten 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 woo woo ter oog ortro tevlul ir chi video video hello today we make mongolian dumpling teacher teacher ah fail fail uh improve improve Improve. Was na button button. Was ein ach nicht was schön wird. Ah. Oh, 
Hold on. Yummy. It's super yummy. Potato. Go. Today is a different side of Onuro that I'm seeing. She has her glasses on for the first time and is doing some teaching. So this is Onuro's youngest daughter. She normally stays at the school dormitory on weekdays and comes back to help her parents on the weekends. They learn everything from young, and I think this is how Onuro grew up to be so capable as well. I'm looking at the future generations of Mongolian women, and it's amazing to see these skills being passed down. Back in the girl, the young one is also helping. Helping to cook. After a hearty dinner, she actually told me to follow her outside. I wonder what's up. Now uh, she just asked me to try. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Four? Four? Oh. Can uh. <laughs> you show me again? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow, so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal. Wow. Mm. Mm hmm. Tam xayroga. <laughs> Back at the girl, Duda is doing something different today. Got the 
satellite dish that connects to the inside of the girl. There's one more solar powered dish. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Straight from the sauce. Now that the satellite dish is connected, we watch the TV while waiting for the most flavorful dinner to be prepared. This is like Bakute but Mongolian version. Lots of meat. So today morning, we are actually leaving and heading towards Luan village. Everyone seems pretty excited. No, it's not that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to On our way back, on the uneven off-road, something happened. Yeah. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. We just managed to push it out of the ditch. Onudo and I got out to push, and Dura was accelerating. Ah. Just like that, we managed to avert a crisis. Tay <laughs> Bang hardak har sar agat lata tigel dat tosh toshat wal jah koyo tigel sor tigel zulte tigne sor tigel jah chu ingi chi ke adapta in nutli ki ki di mi ti kastak sin bat bah koyo sor pukul tir utir tengri amar ante bagat sagor tigel tir sor tasin jah chun kafin ono tir sahun bah kham badal tengri sahun gar sahun bah kham badal. Currently, I'm in Mongolia and I am on a horse. So previously, I only went on a horse for a couple of minutes. <laughs> But this time it was oh, way longer. Nice. He brought me to see the frozen river. The view is just spectacular. Wow, so nice. The animals come into the paddock as the sun is setting. Tete 
This is one of my most shocking meal ever because the animal heads are looking in my direction as I was eating. Today is my last morning with the family before I live for the city but I wasn't expecting to witness this before I live. My driver told us that the guy who just came down was the vet. I didn't expect there would be a vet in such a short time frame. And this shows how resourceful and efficient the nomads here are. Bye bye! The good times always pass by so quickly. <laughs> we have reached the end of my unforgettable nomadic stay. Leaving! So I want to say that as a Singaporean living in Mongolia for the past few weeks, um, especially for the past five days with the nomadic family, 
it has been incredible seeing how the Mongolians lead their life, you know. They just know that they can get through any problems and I would recommend all of you guys to come and visit Mongolia and see how generous and kind the Mongolians are. They treated me with so much care. They just keep asking me to have tea, I want to have some rest and I'm truly, truly honoured to be able to see how they live their lives, their different cultures, how they speak, their love language, how they survive in this vast land. Honestly, survive is not even the right word. How they just live so peacefully and perfectly in harmony with this beautiful grassland. Even though my stay has come to an end, how Onudo and the Mongolian nomads have inspired me with their way of living is something that will last a lifetime. <laughs>